what have we got here? With Dr. Dave. The first threat, and by far the most significant threat to box gum grassy woodlands, is clearing. As mentioned at the outset, only 5% of this habitat type remains. And unfortunately, clearing is ongoing. Uh, incremental loss of paddock trees, uh, clearing around roadsides, is still whittling away what little woodland we have left. The second threat is overgrazing. While part of this is due to domestic stock, cattle and sheep, there's also feral animals, goats, hares, rabbits, and large numbers of native animals, kangaroos and wallabies. All combined, this is a, a significant threat to regeneration of trees and shrubs and prevents many woodlands from regenerating themselves over time. And the third threat is invasive species, otherwise known as ferals. So what have we got here? Well, many of you will know this little distinctive sign, this little trench here with the diggings and some little marbles. Rabbit, European rabbit. One of the introduced invasive pest species that is running right throughout box gum grassy woodlands, along with foxes, hares, and a range of other species. Bad news for soil erosion, bad news for overgrazing, and knocking around what's left of our woodlands. So, from a restoration point of view, we need to use these to give our new plantings a bit of a head start and keep those bunnies and hares at bay. And final threat is fallen timber. This sort of stuff, logs, branches, chunks of wood on the ground. Now you might think of this as just mess, a harbour for pest animals, but this stuff here is not just a handy spot for me to sit on, this is homes. Homes for thousands of woodland creatures. Little things, big things, uh, takes hundreds of years to accumulate and, um, and is just as valuable as, as the rocky outcrops, the big trees and the hollows that we've spoken about previously. What have we got here with Dr. Dave?